What's up, everybody? It's Buffalo Ben 15 Golf back at it again. And today we're at the Sanctuary Lake Golf Course out in Troy, Michigan. A little bit different of a golf vlog this time. A little bit shorter, only six holes this time. I'm not going to voice over through through the entire thing because I want to take you uh, through my course thoughts as I um, come down the stretch on a very tight round, let me tell you. Just showing you the um, ninth hole here. But we're not thinking about Wednesday. We've learned from Alabama. And uh, as you can see, I hit a very nice tee shot. Telling you that I'm not thinking about Wednesday. Because on Wednesday, I shot my worst round in years here. I shot a 90. It got adjusted to an 89 because of my handicap. Because of the net double bogey rule. Um, but an eight, an 89 or a nine, in any event, it was a terrible round. One of my worst in years. And I'm back two days later to try to redeem myself. Cause this is the course that Troy Athens played. Um, do I have my Athens hat on here? I think I do. Um, but yeah, um, I'm here after that to try and redeem myself. Um, and I've played well so far on the front. I'm three over through eight. Make that three over through nine. Yes, sir. All right. Great front nine. 38. But then that happened. Oh, my God. Blow up. It's like I put the thought in... I mean, I can't blame anybody but myself for this. I put that thought in my head about Wednesday and how bad it was and how I needed to bounce back from that. And that's what happened. I just had a four-hole stretch that was absolutely abhorrent. And um, now we're nine over through 13 holes just like that. You see how quickly it can happen. And now we need to go one under through the last five holes to shoot a 79. And when I drove up to this tee and I looked across that water, it looked kind of like the English Channel to me. That was Angelo Spagnolo. just gave you that commentary, the world's worst avid golfer. And uh, I'll tell you what, I felt like him a little bit on this tee shot. Pressure shot. If this goes in the water, it's curtains with how far over par I am already. But I hit a pretty good shot. It went pretty well. And, um, yeah, it's dry and it's safe. We'll take it. So from here on out, I'm just going to kind of uh, be giving some on-course commentary, as you see uh, here. So, uh, yeah, watch as I try to salvage the round. Enjoy the ride, guys. You know what? That's an idea. I could try to lob a a gap wedge over the tree. I just thought about that. He's gone with probably 64 or 60 degree, try to hoist it over. Thought I heard a little leaf touch. Oh, oh my That's goodness. Incredible. Oh. Can you believe this? You should have seen the flight on that. We'll do a little drive up here. All right. So this is six holes at Sanctuary Lake with yours truly, Buffalo Bend 15 Golf. Oh my, you should have seen it. Wow. It's just a full power gap wedge and I hit it perfect. Thank goodness. Let's try to get a birdie. Let's try to get a birdie.
glad that's over. Tea box there. Okay. What are you doing? What on earth are you doing? Oh, oh you lucky little rascal. I don't know what, why his teeth so big, but it works, I guess. Traps the air in. That suction, and once you pop it out, it goes. <clears throat> Helps your ball fly, maybe, a little bit. Hopefully it's not illegal. 154. Wind is swirling on me quite a bit. It looks like it's with me at the moment if so well I should try to probably hit a smooth eight yeah I shouldn't rely on the wind Ninety out. We're gonna try to get there. If we hit a drive as good as our one on the last hole, we do have a chance. That was an uphill 270 shot. I had the distance, I just turned it over. That, that was 98% power, that shot. 
Yeah, I am in fact pen high. That was hit. That was hit hard. All right, got about a 40 yard chip coming up. One hole to go. Last few holes, been playing pretty well. Um, would have liked a birdie on 17, but can't complain with a tap-in par, right? So, uh, yeah. One more to go. It is a 522 par 5. Tiger line down the right. And that's where he's headed, just a little bit wide of it, but this oh. pin appears to be hammered. Oh, 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 that's so far up there. We're on for Eagle. Good enough. The green jacket is going north of the border. Mike Greer. Ah, yeah. get to easy street very very quickly but golf isn't that way it's what are you going to do when things get tough if a guy has gone to q school that many times and he still believes in himself sure as hell you can bet if he has a chance to win he's not going to fold and just like that we come right back look at that guy's unbelievable finish one under through the last five holes par 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 birdie just played quickly, played well, hit a lot of greens, four out of five in the last five holes, 32 putts, seven out of 13 fairways. Just an all-around solid day. 
Doesn't mean the whole round has to be solid, but we still did it. Really exciting, you know, it was a struggle all day today. Um, I just kind of held my composure all day, and the last five holes, I just, it was real tough, but I held it together.